It's a beautiful late September afternoon here in Chicago, and we're at Venerable Wrigley Field. The place will be jam-packed today. One of the great rivalries in all of sports on Fox Saturday Baseball, the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs, a couple of playoff hopefuls. And as we update the standings with just over two weeks to play, the Cardinals have the best record in all of baseball. They seem poised to win a division. The Cubs right now occupy the second wild card spot in the National League and some fireworks yesterday as the Cubs beat the Cardinals eight to three but that was not the storyline Dan Heron on an 86 mile an hour fastball hit pinch hitter Matt Holiday in the helmet warnings were issued Matt Belisle clips Anthony Rizzo a little later he gets ejected along with his manager Mike Matheny after the ball game Cubs manager Joe Madden took severe umbrage and what the Cardinals did right there, absolutely. Uh, we did not hit uh, their guy on purpose at all. That was an absolute mistake. There's no uh, malicious intent whatsoever on Dan Heron's part, none. So to to uh, be become this vigilante group that all of a sudden wants to um, get their own pound in the flesh, that's absolutely insane and ridiculous and wrong. I mean, and furthermore, we don't start stuff, but we will stop stuff. We I get it that uh, you know it's a hot topic of conversation, but you know for us we just uh, realize the fact that almost every day we have somebody saying something about us, and that's just part of the business. And uh, we just got to stick to what we do, take care of what we got to do, and um, go play the game. Where is it? And welcome to the booth alongside Eric Carroll's. I'm Len Casper. Uh, it's getting intense here at Wrigley Field. So explain what we just heard and what might have happened uh, today. Well, I think this becomes as important a game as these two teams have played against one another all year long. Not so much for the standings, but what it represents. The Cubs, since 2010, have finished fifth in the division every year. The Cardinals, for the last five years, they've gone to the playoffs. The Cardinals have what the Cubs want. Nobody's going to give the division to the Cubs. Nobody's going to give the Cubs respect. They have to go out, earn it, take it. The Cardinals, they are the class of the division. They've earned it. I think what happened yesterday, the Cubs, they're trying to send a message. That's why today the Cardinals, they need to come out, say, uh-uh, this is still ours. you got to still go through St. Louis. The Cubs, hey, we're just as good as anybody. It'll be all-star right-hander Michael Waka. For the Cardinals, the Cubs have a bullpen day after a doubleheader on Tuesday. This rivalry dates back to 1892. Cardinals and Cubs, Fox Saturday Baseball from Chicago. Engineered for innovation. Designed for style. Classic and cutting edge. It looks and feels like a luxuriously crafted device, precisely because it is one. The all new LG G4, see the great, feel the great. Destiny, the Taken King extraordinary bundle has arrived. You could win a real-life set of Guardian Armor inspired by the game. And you even get to choose which one you want. Titan, Hunter, or Warlock. Delivered to you by the team at Superfan Builds. Tweet a pick with a Destiny the Taken King bundle using hashtag PS4 bundle sweepstakes for a chance at the extraordinary. No purchase necessary. Visit greatnessawaits.com to learn more. PlayStation. John Smoltz. Hey, Big Frank. Hi, Frank. Is that a capacitive touchscreen with swipe capability? Smoltz, hey! Big Frank. Matt, you got the call to the hall. How's it feel? Every time a player steals home, you could win. Quicken Loans and Major League Baseball present the Steal a Home Sweepstakes. Enter for your chance to win a mortgage-free year and a trip to the World Series or lots of other great prizes. Sign up for the Quicken Loans Steal a Home Sweepstakes now at MLB.com slash Quicken Loans. When asked for his barbecue secrets, this pitmaster would only go so far. Hickory. Which was just enough to inspire our hickory smoked pulled pork sandwich and pulled pork cheese fries. Wendy's, a barbecue tradition since 2015. So what about that stock? Sure thing, right? Actually, no one...
64 degrees. It has cooled off just a little bit. Wind blowing in out of the north-northwest. Should help the pitchers today. Now the Cardinals batting order back Carpenter in the leadoff spot. Tommy Pham has been red hot as of late. Hayward, Peralta, Molina, the veteran guys in the middle. Stephen Piscotti in left. Colton Wong at second. Mark Reynolds gets to start at first with the pitcher. Michael Waka batting ninth, and it's a left-hander out of the bullpen, Travis Wood. We're not quite sure how deep into this game he will go. And he is ready to work. Wood to Carpenter, and he sends one into center. That's Austin Jackson. One pitch and one out. You hear about super utility players, Eric Karros. Travis Wood called a super utility pitcher by his manager. Yeah, gr great athlete. That's what really surprised me. But has come out of the pen. He started at the beginning of the year and really is asked to take the ball today. Give him anywhere from 45 to 60 pitches. But he can really stymie this Cardinal offense. Strike called on. Tommy Pham, red hot as of late. Mike Matheny is riding that hot hand. They've got some issues out there in center field to sort out before the postseason begins. And we should note off the top, the Cardinal magic number just to clinch a playoff spot is one. So if they win this game today, they're in. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Ken Rosenthal is with us and an update on all that stuff we talked about in the open. Glenn, I spoke with crew chief Tom Hallian before the game. He said that no pregame warnings were issued. And the reason is they don't want to dictate what takes place on the field. If something does happen, then the umpires will react. Thank you, Ken. That sounds about right. Bruce Dreckman. Alfonso Marquez, Tom Hallion, Dan Bellino. And here is Jason Hayward. So, Eric, uh, Travis Wood, a two inning save two days ago. He starts the ball game today with September rosters. We could see eight or nine Cubs pitchers today. Yeah, that's what Joe Madden indicated, but you just don't know what Travis Wood is going to give you. I mean, so far, five pitches, five strikes. There, as we said it right there, though, there's a, the ball. But again, just setting the tone. Jason Hayward, his first in what could be his only season as a Cardinal, came over from the Braves over the winter. And he bounces one to first. Anthony Rizzo will take it unassisted. A seven pitch, one, two, three, first inning for Travis Wood. The Cubs are coming up when we return to Chicago. Engineered for innovation. Designed for style. Classic and cutting edge. It looks and feels like a luxuriously crafted device. Precisely because it is one. The all new LG G4. See the great, feel the great. Destiny, the Taken King Extraordinary Bundle has arrived. You could win a real-life set of Guardian Armor inspired by the game, and you even get to choose which one you want. Titan, Hunter, or Warlock, delivered to you by the team at Superfan Builds. Tweet a pick with a Destiny, the Taken King Bundle using hashtag PS4 Bundle Sweepstakes for a chance at the extraordinary. No purchase necessary. Visit greatnessawaits.com to learn more. PlayStation. John Smoltz. Hey, Big Frank. Hi, Frank. Is that a capacitive touchscreen with swipe capability? Smoltz, hey! Big Frank. Matt, you got the call to the hall. How's it feel? When asked for his barbecue secrets, this pitmaster would only go so far. Hickory. Which was just enough to inspire our hickory smoked pulled pork sandwich and pulled pork cheese fries. Wendy's, a barbecue tradition since 2015. So what about that stock? Sure thing, right? Actually knowing the kind of risk that you're comfortable with. 
I'd still against a right-hander, but not today. And we'll talk about Joe Madden and how he views the baseball world a little later. Austin Jackson, Jorge Soler, Chris Bryant, righties at the top. Anthony Rizzo, an MVP candidate in the cleanup spot. Starlin Castro took the curtain call yesterday after two home runs. Javier Baez, it's short for Addison Russell. It'll be Chris DeNorfia in left. David Ross, the catcher, and the pitcher hitting ninth, which is also been a rare occurrence for the Cubs. And here's 24 year old all star right hander Michael Waka looking for his 17th win. And ball one on Austin Jackson. Well, Michael Waka, he's had a couple suspect starts, but those were always after long periods of rest. Back in his regular day's rotation and threw the ball well his last start. One and one. Jackson acquired on the final day of August from Seattle. He's played a lot of right, but is in center field. His natural position, slicing liner, Jason Hayward. Nice running grab. He's one of the premier right fielders with the glove. Well, that's one of his greatest assets is his defense. He does a lot of things on the base paths, plays a great right field. And I think when he's on your team, you appreciate him even more. Let's check out the rest. Of the Cardinals defensively, one of the best behind the plate is Yadier Molina. Third to first, Carpenter, Peralta, Wong, and Reynolds. Scotty, Pham, and Hayward in the outfield. And ball one on Jorge Soler. 23-year-old from Cuba. And when healthy, he had been the most frequently used right fielder before his latest DL trip. Sprained ankle, strained oblique. And he's got two weeks to show Joe Madden that he deserves to be on the playoff roster. Yeah, a big part of the future, but don't know if that future is going to begin in October. Got a lot of options in that outfield. Joe Madden's going to have quite a few decisions he's going to have to make, obviously, with the front office when he puts together that postseason roster. Two balls, two strikes, and one of the reasons he's got all these righties in there, the Michael Waka changeup, trying to neutralize that a little bit. From Texarkana, Texas. Big swing by Solaire. Two and two. Hard to believe that Michael Waka, a two-time All-Stater in high school, was not drafted out of out of high school before he went to Texas A&M and eventually became a first round pick. Three and two. Well and sometimes you talk about that guy's not getting drafted out of high school. Their sign ability. You know look at I'm not going I'm going to school and clubs will pass. Doesn't mean that he wasn't ready. Just wasn't signable. Ball four and Soler is on. Let's check out today's keys to the game sponsored by Ford. Well, St. Louis needs to take care of business, not get caught up in all the verbiage that's going on. They win today, as you mentioned earlier. They're in the postseason. Chicago Cubs, they've got to keep pushing. Push, push, push. Right now, they're on a great roll. They're serving notice to everybody that this isn't just a nice team. This is a team that can win the World Series. Our Lincoln keys to the game. Here is Chris Bryant. First to check on Solaire. Huge numbers in his rookie campaign. He's already set a team record as a rookie with 93 knocked in, and he pulls one to left. That ball is fair, just inside the line. So Lair coming around third. Gary Jones, a third base coach, will send him and no relay throw. It's one nothing Cubs. Chris Bryant with his 94th run driven in. You see his off speed just kind of spins up there. Bryant rips it into the corner. We talk about the Cubs coming out right out of the gate, being aggressive, establishing the tone. And that's what they're doing right now. You see Solaire, he's hustling all around. There's never any question. He's going all the way. 
offensively, defensively, the way Travis Wood just went right through the lineup. Right now, it's got all Cubs written all over it. They have been very good in this ballpark as of late. Winners of 18 of their last 22. Anthony Rizzo rolls one to Colton Wong. For out number two as Bryant will move to third. And it'll bring up the man of the day yesterday, Starlin Castro. Yeah, he really swung the bat well. Hit those moonshot home runs. Been playing great defense. I mean, he really asked it. To protect Anthony Rizzo. I mean, Rizzo's an MVP candidate. You got Castro. I mean, that's a big burden for a guy that a couple weeks ago you didn't know if he was going to be coming or going. With his ninth and tenth home runs of the year, and you know, he has some walk up music that gets the Cubs dugout and bullpen into it. Walker will stay from the stretch. And that misses for ball one. Rizzo and Castro both very good numbers against Walker, each with two home runs. And two and oh. See, Waka wanted that pitch, and that's where he's effective on the outer part of the plate. Most pitchers are away from the hitter. But home plate umpire Bruce Dreckman not giving him that pitch early on. That is a strike on the curve. You see, this is the 1 0 pitch. It's a great pitcher's pitch, does not get the call, then comes back with a 2 0 curveball outer part of the plate. Fastball close did not get that call. I can bet you right now that Yadier Molina catching is having a discussion with Bruce Dreckman behind the plate. Ground ball that'll get in the left for a base hit. Bryant will score. Castro stays hot and it's two to nothing Cubs. And of course Waka. And the 3 1 to throw him something he could handle. Well, Castro gets into a hitter's count, and this ball just bears in. Molina wanted it outside. Walker missed his spot. Castro makes him pay. Well, the Cubs couldn't have scripted the beginning of this game any better. Here's Javier Baez, just 22 years old. In his September call up. And he's been really good. Had a very tough first go around last year. He's got a ton of strikeouts. Spending the year at AAA this season. Cut down on the strikeouts. He's closed his stance a little bit. And another hitter's count. Michael Waka has only thrown two first pitch strikes. The first six hitters. Not the way you want to start. 2 0 with Castro. He went with the curveball. Just don't want to throw this guy a fastball. Oof. Good location. Well, Mike Matheny would like some length out of Waka after Lance Lynn had a short one yesterday and could not get out of the fourth inning. And as he was leaving, he gave the home plate umpire yesterday, Dan Bellino, a piece of his mind. There's some pitches he thought were strikes. It's interesting, Eric. You know, we tend to view the baseball season based on the last week or 10 days. And it has not gone all that well for the Cardinals. They had lost 8 of 10, followed that up by winning four in a row. They lost yesterday. Cubs are surging Pirates are hanging around but if you ask any manager what team would you rather have right now you'd want to have the team with the best record and that is the Cardinals swing and a miss 
for strike three to get Waka out of the inning, but the Cubs get a couple against the All-Star, and it's 2-0 Chicago after an inning. Engineered for innovation. Designed for style. Classic and cutting edge. It looks and feels like a luxuriously crafted device. Precisely 